that weight I was feeling so weak I felt like I was going to fall down <laughs> Welcome back to the channel and I figure you would have watched a previous video that states that I'm actually um, Corona positive, COVID positive. Um, currently I'm at home and I'm isolating. I have to isolate for 10 days they say because after 10 days they say you're no longer infectious. Well, for now um i'm still having aches and pain all over my body my tummy hurts so at times i feel like i really want to go and i have this urge like i want to vomit like i want to vomit all the time um but i'm not having any breathing issues which is good i do have a fever as well so i've been taking my medications guys and i've been reading the comments and i appreciate the support in due time i'll go through and respond but you know i'm just trying to get as much rest as i can so today i really didn't want to get out the bed but i don't have any choice but to because there's a another test that i'll have to undergo which is the pcr test to confirm so i will have to find my way to this place now to get this test done given the fact that i am positive i don't have my own ride and it's not nearby where <sighs> how do i get there um is that a bus or uber so think about it there are certain things that i don't have to say but does all of this even make any sense no wonder the the um the spread is here and <laughs> the numbers are going up we can see why um i'm just gonna head out because i'm to have this test done between 9 and 12 and it's almost 12 o'clock and i don't want the time to pass i really don't feel good but i'll keep you posted when i get back i'll continue the video I'll tell you some more details guys so please stay tuned and continue to pray for me all right um so this is me heading out oh god I'm feeling so weak this is torture this don't make no sense to me at all my back hurt me my joints have hurt me and um uh, this is something else so i'm back after having the test done i had to um i had to get an uber to get to the place and when i got there um i was feeling so weak i didn't realize i was this weak until i had to actually get out of the car and walk a little distance to get to the tent and um it was quick it, you know the test is quick but to get an uber back i had to get another uber to get me and i was waiting there for about um seven minutes for another uber pickup and during that wait i was feeling so weak i felt like i was going to fall down and it's in that moment that the lady saw that I wasn't that hot so she grabbed me a chair and I was just sitting there because it's a tent and it's cold out there just sitting and waiting for the uber so I finally got back in and I feel like the ache and pain is more now that I had to go out today so since I've been back I didn't even feel like sitting up to do the videos like I don't have this 
I don't have the energy to sit up right now. Um, I haven't eaten anything since morning either. I don't feel like eating because even yesterday I was eating because, you know, even through all of it, I'd be like, at least I'm eating because, <laughs> you know, I don't play with food. So, and my family members, I have good family members, you know, they are so far away. But when my auntie heard um, that I'm positive, she didn't handle it too well. Oh my god, she went and she made some soup for me. She made soup and sent it and they sent curry and all kind of food and juices and pills and all sort of stuff for me. My cousins, they came to to drop it off. And in that moment, they realized that, you know, this is just crazy because they weren't even able to come inside. You know, they have to just drop it off at the door and... You know from a distance i just you know say hello to them and yes um as i say i, I really don't feel for anything because yesterday i wanted all of these stuff and they brought them and today i don't feel for anything to eat not even a cup of tea i don't feel like i usually love to have donuts and muffins with my coffee and not even this morning i don't want that i don't feel for any juice not even milk because people i do drink a lot of milk <laughs> i drink a lot of milk uh, for the month i go through how many cartons of milk and i don't even feel for that right now there's no appetite but i'll just try to i'll try to eat something something i'll try i'll try but you know sometimes i really feel like vomiting i feel so nauseous and my body feel off man aches and pain and last night i was coughing a lot before i went to my bed but i didn't get up with any coughing this morning which is which is good huh? you guys have been reading the comments and <laughs> I read and I hear some of you saying, I know you're a nurse and you know what to do and all of that. Yeah, nurses do get sick and um, when I'm sick, guys, I do assume the, the sick role. In this moment, I am, I am a patient. So when I'm sick, because when I'm at home and I'm sick, trust me, my mother has to do everything for me. <laughs> And I do play like, yes, I do play the role. <laughs> I'll be like, aches and pain everywhere. My mother look after me when I'm sick. I don't remember anything about being a nurse. If you're sick, you're sick. You want somebody to nurse you, you know. But, nah, nobody here so if you take care of me. So I guess, um, I have to go take care of myself somewhat. Right now, I look around and I'm like, this room is looking at total crap. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I, I, can't, I don't have the strength. I don't have the strength to do anything. You know? And uh, I hope you won't come to the point that I can't manage to be it. Because, hmm. But how I'm feeling today, I just think I'm going to rest. I'm going to rest. I'm going to rest because I don't feel like eating anything at all. And, you know, people have been calling. I appreciate the support, guys. I don't know if you remember, so we have different time, time zone. Because <laughs> last night I got a call around. Well, not last night, this morning around 3.40 something. And I'm like, I don't know if you noticed that I was disoriented on the call, guys. Because <laughs> I was actually asleep when you called. But I appreciate the support. And I'm trying to, to you know, tough it out. I'll be fine. I'll be okay after. After a while, I'll be fine. I'll be up and running. So... Thank you for staying tuned with me today. I'm your girl, shall we, saying peace out.